Hey, welcome to the third lesson of the course. We have our sports balls and we have our materials and as I said in the previous lesson, the problem we have now is that the materials are really plain. They have no texture at all, just colors and these the, the sewing pattern and everything, but they have no texture. So we need to add a little texture so they look more realistic and they look better when they are bouncing with the rigid body and the soft body later on. So to create that effect we need to create something called the bump map. The bump map is an image created just like to be the reference for all the bumpiness here on the, as something um, on a sphere on the material for example the basketball has this little like some bumps in it it's not plain it's not a soft texture is kind of like a bumpy texture it has some dots and everything so we need to create that with a, a bump map and we're going to create that on Adobe Photoshop I have all my materials selected here and now it's time to create the bump map so it's really simple it's not a big deal we just need to create open these materials and now let's hit let's go to image adjustments and click on desaturate so that the image is black and white all right now we're going to create a new layer and this layer let's paint it black with alt and backspace now let's go to filter let's select noise and add noise now on add noise we can select maybe harder maybe like a 40 percent and select it on Gaussian and monochromatic and click OK now on the blending modes let's select a screen and with this selected go to image adjustments and click on invert now you should have something like this maybe we can lower the opacity maybe to 80 percent and now we're going to save this as tennis material bomb of course an image and click OK now let's go to Cinema 4D again and let's get closer to our tennis ball and now let's select our material for the tennis ball double click on it and now instead of going to the color section go to the bump section here you see the bump click here to check the bump and now on texture let's select our new image which is the tennis material bump say yes and maybe we can increase the strength to 40% and now you can see that the texture, it, we don't see it too much here, but here you can see a little bumpiness now here on the on the ball. So if we hit render view, you can see how it looks. Now it's not a plain texture, it has some bump it to it. So it's it's looking really nice. Of course it's not a tennis ball, it's not exactly as a tennis ball because the tennis ball has some hairs in it but it looks fine for the purposes that we want to work with here on the course so let's create the other bumps you can close this now and this can be closed too say no here and let's create the bumps for everyone this can be the next one image adjustments desaturate a new layer paint it black filter at noise you can click here so that it applies the same no uh, filter here screen and 
invert. In fact, for this one, instead of screen, we can use multiply so that we can see the noise here on the white parts of the ball. Now, save this as baseball bump. And let's repeat the same process for each of these materials. Here we should do the same. We can click on Ctrl and E so that we get the same filter. I think multiply suits better here. Go to image, adjustments, invert. All right. Save it again, football bump. This one, you can see that they are all done with the same process. And it's a really simple process. All right, we're missing just one of these sports balls create a new one paint it black Control F to repeat the same filter adjustments, invert and screen now we have all of them so let's jump back to Cinema 4D and let's see how it looks on each one of them. Go to the baseball material, click on bump, add some texture, which will be, of course, baseball bump. Say yes. And for example, this one should be the strength that should be less strength, like 10% because it has some texture but not so bumpy as our tennis ball alright now you can just click here on the next material so you don't have to open the material editor again click on bump and bring the bump the basket bump In this one this is fine All right, now with the football, let's see how it looks on white, right? Should be less because the football are very soft. All right, this is fine. We have a little texture, but not too much. And now the rugby, this one should have a lot of texture. Let's see how it looks. Okay, this is fine. Now let's go back to our main view. Alright, now we have all these balls with the texture. And we are all set with the style part of the course. We have the material, we have the bumps to create the texture, we have the background and the floor and we have everything we need to uh, start working with the dynamics on Cinema 4D so let's jump to the next lesson to work with that as you can see we didn't model anything we, there's no model here only the rugby was a little modeling but it was very simple we didn't have to model anything here because that's not what we're after on this course we just want to work with the dynamics which is a really interesting part here when you're working with 3D. So let's go to the next lesson.